And today we are making your edits feel a bit more alive by using two things, speed ramps and simple motion. I'm not going to use any plugins so you can easily follow along with the stock DaVinci Resolve software. Pick a clip where there's movement like walking, a camera move or a hand reaching for anything. Now, right click on the clip, you select Retime Controls, you'll see a little speed bar on the clip. Move your playhead to where you want the speed changed. Click the little drop down arrow on the speed bar and add speed point. Now you have sections. Make it simple. The first part you can try 100%, the middle part 300 or 400, the end part 100%. So it goes normal, fast, and then normal again. Now the important bit, make it smooth. Retime curve if you want more control. If your RAM feels snappy, add easing. Easing is what makes it a bit more professional. Now we add a little movement so your shots don't feel flat. Pick a clip, go to inspector, you're going to only touch zoom or position. Add keyframes like this. At the start, zoom 1.0. A few seconds later, add zoom at 1.05, and that's it. Tiny zoom, not in your face, just a little bit of a camera push. If you want to feel a bit better, do a tiny position move too, like a small slide left to right. This creates a little parallax feeling, foreground and background shift slightly, and it feels a bit more 3D. Now, the big rule today, speed ramps and motion are seasoning. If every clip ramps, it gets annoying really quickly. So pick one or two hero moments and let the rest breathe. Your homework for today, add one speed ramp, 100, 300 or 400, and 100 again. Add easing so it's smooth. Add two motion clips with keyframes like zoom or position. Watch the full edit and make sure it doesn't feel too much. Save your project. And if you found this video helpful, we're going to go into basic color fixing to make your footage look normal and consistent tomorrow. So yeah, like and subscribe. See you.